You may have seen the so-called edgy teens around on the streets wearing horse masks. This is because a horse mask is seen as a major symbol of the resistance against the regime of the fake flying horses. This practice is heavy links to those fearless few who devote their lives to the mutant flying goats and also has links to the holy text, the Bible. Found in Texas in 1974 which uncovers the truth. This section of the film will explain the links between flying horses and UFOs. You say, UFOs are in fact the malfunctioned horse costumes puff the members of the regime. Occasionally. The heads fly off into people's gardens and stuff and resistance members use this as a founding symbol of the corruptness of the regime and its brutality. For example, the 10% tradition in which 10% of people under the age of 18 are sacrificed yearly for good luck, is in fact just a way in which Tyrant Bob can eat more children. This is why it is imperative that you join the resistance under the Flying Mutant Goats and Horse Costumes Association and wear a horse mask. Wearing a lived-in horse mask is normally best as this shows your devotion to the regime and willing to serve the Fujika. However, if you cannot stomach the killing and skinning of a regime member as a costume, then fresh horse masks are available at the resistance hideouts in the Amazon rainforest, so see you there. Do not worry about social stigmatization. Committing yourself to the resistance does not require romance. Joining the goats will sustain your dietary needs. The holy book compels you. Join the resistance. 11 Then I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white goat. The one sitting on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. 12 His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, and he has a name written that no one knows but himself. 13 He is clothed in a robe dipped in a, blood, and the name by which he is called is the Word of God. 14 And the armies of heaven, arrayed in fine linen white and pure, were following him on white goats. Fifteen from his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule be, them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. Sixteen on his robe and on his thigh he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Revelation 1911-18